What's going on? It's your boy Chris, aka HTV Layer Pro, here with another project I want to go ahead and share with you guys. Um, I'm going to be using um, some flock, but not just the regular flock itself. I am going to be using um, some of the uh, flocking sheets um, from Specialty Materials here. And um, it's white. I'm going to be putting it on a hat. Um, I literally just bought a new hat press. Uh, so I want to get ahead and put it to work and uh, I wanted to use some of these flocking sheets just because I like the way um, the material itself works out. I have used this um, a couple times doing a couple other projects and um, I like the lasting impression on it um, especially when using um, the hot melt too as well which can you can use that for all sorts of uh, different projects not just on flocking you that use that for foil they got reflective sheets for that um, you can also use that for um, if you're using like 12 projects as well um, because hot melt is nothing but glue so um, I'm using the flocking sheets um, over using the actual regular flock just because with the flocking sheets you don't have to worry about weeding so what you're weeding is just the hot melt itself which is just the glue. So once you get that glue down, anything that can come off of this material right here or that that glue can catch, it's going to catch it perfect within that glue section, which which makes this a better uh, candidate for doing um, detail projects, especially if you want it to have a flock look, then using the actual uh, flock itself. Um, and that's because it does pick up all of the detail when you press it and when it's done correctly too as well. So let me clear that part up. Um, again, that's from Specialty Materials. It is a couple more colors, but I personally bought just the white just because of the type of stuff that I, I'm gonna be personally doing with it. So um, let's go ahead and get straight to it. I got a simple design, um, but I did wanna show you guys how the flocking sheets work. If you have not used this yet, this is a very very good product again this is just the white one but this is a very 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 good product i like the flocking sheets and um i actually just got hip to it uh about two months ago so um, once i used it i kind of fell fell in love with it because when using that hot melt it literally picks up every single piece of design even with the foils i wasn't a fan of foils too as well but um you only use foils for certain things, not for everything. I, I definitely wouldn't use foil on a t-shirt, but um, stuff that you, you're not gonna be doing too much washing with, that way you don't get a wash with it. So hat's perfect for this. Um, again, you could probably use some like hoodies and stuff too as well, something that you're not gonna be, you're just wearing it for, for not, I won't say for sport, but for uh, fashion purposes. That's what this stuff is used for. So um, let's go ahead and get straight to it. Let's cut the design and the hot melt, which I'll show you what that looks like in a second. And let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so this is the hot melt from, um, I did purchase this from ptransylvano.com. You guys can use my code HTV Layer Pro to get a discount off of your heat transfer vinyl products um, from ptransylvano.com, which is also a specialty materials uh, reseller. So go ahead and go on their website and hit them up and you know get some of this. This hot melt though, this is just the glue. Um, this is the hat. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is like again I said putting the uh, hot melt on the hat first and then I'm going to be putting the uh, flocking sheet right on top of that. And again hot melt is just it's literally just a glue sheet. It's just clear. So it kind of almost, you can mistake this if it's labeled wrong, you can mistake this for um, the clear HTV, but this is definitely hot melt. So um, make sure if you do buy some of this stuff that you keep it uh, separated from everything else. If you like to tear, you know, labels and stuff off of things like, like I do. Um, that's why with this, I'm gonna be keeping this paper that they sent on it uh, as well as making sure that I pay attention to the sticker on the inside because of how I have all of my rolls and stuff um, set up. I have them color coordinated like a person with OCD, you know, so yeah. <laughs> but um, let's go ahead and um, again, like I said, we're gonna cut some of this hot melt and um, weed it out 
press it on here and uh, let's get the results see what it is. This is my first time pressing on a hat. I have done it on hoodies and um, uh, certain t-shirts, um, the, the thicker blended ones, um, but I've never done it on um, a hat. So, and that's because I didn't have the proper heat press to as well, um, which does kind of make a lot of difference when it comes to doing certain projects. If you don't, if your heat press is not the, the you know the right kind of course you spend your money on certain things you get what you pay for um, then your projects is not gonna come out looking how it's supposed to look if you're working with something um, that's that's cheap basically um, so I had to purchase me a brand new uh, hat press because the other one I had was cheap this one cost me about I think 600 bucks um, which is perfect for what I'm trying to do um, also have another heat press too coming in that I also purchased that was about $900 but um, again you get what you pay for so um, yeah let's go ahead and get to cutting this hot melt and then uh, knocking out this hat so this is the cut now I'm just going ahead and weed it and again like I said it looks just like clear but um, this is the hot melt so uh, I'm putting this on a hat this is from um, my clothing line itself I uh, just want to see what it looks like on a hat with the flock so that's what I'm gonna be doing right now and um, yeah let's go ahead and get to it Super easy weed. And again, this is just a glue, so it doesn't take much effort. And again, because we're dealing with the hot melt, you want to make sure that you get in between of all the spaces you're supposed to because that glue will pick up on anything no matter what if it's left over or not it's gonna pick up on on it So we got the letters super, super small. That's gonna look real good when we press it. Let's go ahead and go over to the press. Okay, so I have my cutout right here, cut um, with the heat tape too attached to it. And this is the glue or hot melt. I mean, I said glue, this is the hot melt. Okay, put that on here first. Center it on up to exactly where you want it at. Right here. All right, that's attached. So that's gonna keep it in place. Now, all I do is press it. All right. So have that on there and I like to keep the, the hot note on there just for a little bit longer than it's supposed to take that off not all of the E's I can tell just by looking at it not all of the blue from the E got on there so I'm gonna press it one more time just because I you can tell that by it being still white so I'm just going to do just a little adjusting here, a little adjusting, just move the hat up just a little bit right here, and then bring it back down, there we go, and then press it again. Okay, bring it back up, turn it 
just a little bit, a little bit. There we go. This way too, son. I'm gonna hit this side and trim there. All right. And that too. I mean, I probably have the design too. You know, super wide. You know what I mean? Um, so that's that with the, the hot melt. So go ahead. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. I can use the same tape from, from this, so I'll take the tape from this, go on the back, this, same thing here, go on the back of this, okay, and I'm putting it right over the hot melt. Alright, and put the Teflon sheet on top of it. Put a little bit more pressure on it too as well. Alright, take it and press. I'm gonna keep that on there for a little bit longer then. Alright. Yeah, that. Um, uh, I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I just wanna, you know, turn the hat just a little bit so that I make sure I get every piece go ahead press it again cling to a sheet so that's gonna happen okay that's that we got that all worked and now let's uh see the results now for the just of it <clears throat> it came out pretty pretty well um again it's my first time doing a hat so I kind of, I think because it didn't get too much over here, um, I made the design a little bit too wide. I just re-measured it and this is five and a, and a half. I should have did it at five. So this little bit of extra room over here, which is why I had to turn the hat a little bit, uh, made a difference in the design actually being finished with it. But again, how I was saying <clears throat> with the, how much it picks up on that detail using the flocking sheets over me actually using the flock I wouldn't be able to cut it this small and it work out how I would want it to work out so um, actually this is a this is a plus I'll just go back and repress over the top of that and um, yeah that'll that'll do for for the hat and I know I need to move it down a little bit more too I did a little bit high um, again to maybe maybe I should uh, probably have to go back and re-edit the design on this i don't like the way it's arching over like that either kind of wanted to swoop down a little bit but to get to me this is a, a win just showing you guys on how it picks up the, the the detail of it and again i've tried this on the shirts and whatnot too as well this works perfect also um with mixing different types of textures um i did a project using the what was it uh glitter Glitterflex Ultra. Um, that's also another product from Specialty that you can pick up. I use the hot melt on top of that, and then I put this flock on top of it, flocking sheets on top of it. Came out real, real nice. Now it's my first time trying something like that too, as well. But uh, again, this is a win. 
um, for me. Uh, of course, this is, I'm not gonna say my first time using a hat press, but this is my first time using the flocking sheets on a hat. Normally, HTV looks perfect on there. I've done plenty of hats using HTV just on there regularly, but this is my first time using flocking sheets. And I mean, this is cool. This is cool. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I even like the way it feels on the hat because you can feel the letters, and I'm guessing that's from the glue and then the flocking sheet been on top of it. So that's real, real cool. Love it. Yeah, that's that. Again, I use the, the flocking sheet. I'll turn the press off. Use the flocking sheets. Um, I'm gonna try this again on uh, the hat. I'm gonna improve that design on there a little bit more, just so that it's arched with the hat a little bit more. I, truck hats are way, way different from normal hats. I'm starting to realize that uh, just from the way it's sitting on the hat compared to the other hats that I've done as well. Um, but uh, this is the, the flocking sheets. Again, this is from Specialty. This is one of the specialty materials um, that you can buy. And uh, again, you can order it um, from Specialty or you can go on uh, the heattransfervinyl.com website and use my code HTV Layer Pro to get a discount on your materials. Again, this was the flocking demo um, uh, using the hot milk. And um, I do plan on using this uh, for for more of for more of those, especially once I fix that up. I'm probably gonna be in here tomorrow doing it. So um, until then, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, let me know if it's a certain thing you want to try. I do have a lot of materials at my hand and at my disposal that I can use and show you guys. Um, until then, peace out.